Hi there, son of Taurus. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for the next 48 hours. Really, whenever it resonates with you. Thanks for coming to the channel. If you haven't, if you're a first time person, thank you so much for coming and I hope you like it. So let's get going. We are going to start with some Oracle cards, then the tarot kind of fit them side by side today, starting with the Power to Surrender deck. So for our Torrens, Spirit Guides, Angels, Higher Self, Higher Power, Divine Wisdom. You can get messages for our Torrens. I'd appreciate it. All right. Oh, okay. Looks like three for sure are wanting to come out. All right. Okay, Taurus, we have surrender your ego, surrender stubbornness. Stubborn, okay, let me read this one. Surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. It will help you communicate more lovingly with others. Surrender your ego, cultivate gratitude, be a service to others and come from the heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to the center. <sighs> yeah, breathing really helps. Uh, surrender low self-esteem. Isn't that pretty? I love that painting. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Of course, you shouldn't. You're a Taurus. So, well, there might be something or someone challenging your ego right now. Always know that ego is led by fear. So if you're making a decision or a choice, you have some issues, just ask yourself, is it fear-guided or is it love-guided? And that's a good way to know if... Um, it's the way you want it to go, right? All right, so I am going to get... Actually, you know, with those cards, it kind of makes sense to get um, an affirmation for communication. There's something about communicating with others that might be um, difficult or an issue. So I'm going to look into that and see why I'm getting that message. Appreciation. I appreciate the unique ways other people show their love rather than compare my way, their ways with my ways. Then I appreciate myself for maturely putting up with the people who I just can't seem to show love the normal, obvious, universally accepted way. So good job, both of us. <laughs> and this one's even, it's the, the bird with the ego. <laughs> and the bull is on the bottom, tacked. Watch your words, Taurus. There's a, just a big message about your communication and your words coming in for me. Um, it says, I speak and act with care, remembering that impulsive words or harsh tones can hurt others. If it feels like I'm walking on eggshells, I'll remind myself those eggshells might be a shop full of china, and I might actually be a bull. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now... Torrance. This is the um, Epiphany deck and the Sacred Signs and Symbols. So, let's see what this is about. Spirit, if we can get messages for course. General messages, but they can be whatever needs to come in for them. So what are you stressed about or upset about? That might be the question instead. For Taurus. So on the bottom of that deck, we had... Um, Kind of needing to make sure you're not taking too rigid of a stance on something um, or getting, you know, too upset. 
uh, over a topic or, a, you know, something like that. And then this card's coming out. So this could either be someone you're dealing with or yourself. It just depends. I feel like these two go together because we put up armor when we put up um, some of our defenses. And um, it says guarded, defensive, or stoic. So, or you're on the end of acting like you don't care about something. Tunnel, narrow view, or limited vision. And like I said, that, that energy is um, usually a guarded, fear-based energy. All right, reminiscing on past precious moments. So reminiscing, and then all truth will be revealed. All truth will be revealed. Okay. So let's go into the tarot now. And let's see, what do we have? What do we have for Taurus? Surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, abundance. Set an, attention, an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. All right. What's the issue for Taurus? Taurus, the issue. I'm trying to find truth. You want all truth, absolute truth, nothing but the truth. All truth will be revealed is right here. That might be why some defenses are up and some rigid stances are taken. So you have Ace of Swords is the information or clarity that allows you to triumph over some or win in some kind of battle that you feel like you're fighting in life. This is the victory. And it's the information that you need for that victory. Okay, so what's the challenge here? What's the challenge? The six of cup energy and it's in the reverse so i'm thinking that either there's some family issues to solve or there may be truth about regarding a soulmate energy that you're needing to find out or that you would like to find out um i'm also wanting to say possibly regarding reunion or the truth about getting together or something that's going on in the family, maybe the not so truth things that are going on in a family, some secrets or something. All right, the um, the root at the root or at the base. I feel like it's that one. We have the nine of wands. So you're not giving up. I feel like you feel like you are this foundation. Like without you, this foundation. You know what I mean. So I feel like that's a good thing because people people obviously can see you've been wounded, but you're still going. Your walls are up, though. At the root of everything, you have walls built up. It's defense mechanisms normally and fear because, or that, that wants to put that up. But there might be something that you're just persevering through and that you're not giving up on. The past energy. The Eight of Cups. Okay, in the past energy, maybe it was the other person that walked away. Like right as something got, it was starting to get bad. Somebody walks away. Eight of Cups. Present energy. Communication. Good communication coming in. Good communication coming in. Information that you're keeping to yourself. Good communication coming in and information that you also might be keeping to yourself. Okay. Okay, the card for, um, and this is also um, fastly working towards gaining your power back in some kind of I think uh, something where you felt like you, there was a loss of power. The near future energy. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Huh. Okay. You know what I'm thinking for this one is 
where is we might have been more focused on this this king of pentacle energy in the past i feel like the near future has almost us switching roles or this is a new character coming in um but the king of cups is like doing things um managing i would say disciplining your whole life after the model of having your emotions balanced and um being very wise regarding emotionally how you act the king of pentacles in reverse kind of isn't cutting it when it comes to some financial issues okay but there's a rebuilding of the tower moment so if there was a tower moment this is the rebuilding of it because it's in the reverse there is it says temperance and the hermit could be doing a lot of self-inquiry um, they're saying have patience, like the near future still has you working on rebuilding maybe a business or something, but this is in divine timing, they're saying. So we could have Scorpio, Sagittarius. Let's see, how do you feel? Does Taurus feel? Like some either like something didn't work out or like somebody uh, or like you felt uprooted. No. Yeah, maybe, maybe for some, maybe for some having to move or you feeling like something's, I don't know, maybe you're feeling like moving. Or like you haven't met your goal quite yet. Like you're on your way. But you haven't met it quite yet. Yeah, that's probably more like it. Okay. And this goal has to do with information and enlightenment, if you notice all the yellow on this side. Lovers in reverse in the surrounding situation. It's all a situation surrounding you right now based on the energy of remnants from a bad or poor decision in the past. And it was either yours or partners doesn't matter whose energy is what if we're just reading the energy the energy that's present is we are at this crossroads because of a poor decision okay so we move on from there though so i'm feeling like a very pessimistic tunneled way of looking at something yeah i'm feeling pessimistic with this like i'm feeling like this is just the way you're viewing it Okay, um, the hopes or fears? Five of Pentacles, for sure. Yeah, well, good thing is, is that's just a fear. So being left, being ignored, not listened to, things changing without you knowing. Too much financial strain is really bothersome to you too. So, um, or health worry, we could have a health worry at this time, not saying this would be manifest as one, just, it could be a worry. Um, these are fears and they're only fears. So you mustn't give them any, um, power by believing more into them. So we just don't, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> the outcome energy, the outcome energy. Well, change. <laughs> Eventually, I feel like this fighting or arguing or bickering, people, groups of people that didn't get along uh, will end up getting along here in this near future. It's, it's all tied to a milestone or a goal. Like once something is reached, people are going to get along better. That's what it feels like. I feel like that's coming out of... Um, competition like not competing like that anymore or something okay let's get something else Taurus closure putting end putting closure getting closure when you find information out regarding somebody leaving or just closure regarding, um, yeah, a poor decision. Closure regarding stopping arguing. Closure, closure, stopping arguing <laughs> over a poor decision. 
yeah. All right, so that's what I've got. I have Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. That could be like the matron or mother-like energy um, of having truly what you want right now. Could be some resistance to a brand new start because of some lingering heartache. But all in all, 3-3, three, three, you're very powerful and you know that. So you're in anticipation for things to come, good things to come. All right, let's get you some fortune cookies. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope I was as clear as I could be in it. I can only really give you as much information as I see in the cards. So perseverance. You may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. See right here. All right, Taurus. What else do we have for Taurus? Exhaustion. Long and challenging as this journey is, it's worth the struggle. The results are long-term and worth every sacrifice made along the way. That's good news. That's what I'd like to hear. And peace. Friends and family and those who care, peace is yours today to share. All right, let's do one of these cards for you too, a spell casting card. Let's see what we have complete transformation like like here we go the ending or closure might be the whole transformation is an ending or closure the whole thing transforms metamorphosis so this could be like a rebirth of something too anything else nope what i got all right taurus thanks sending you light and love bye-bye